I'm back. Um, been out a little bit, I had surgery, so we're just gonna get right back into it, kicking in the ass. So what I have here in my hand is a part for this thing called a Max AC mod. And what it does, it just reroutes coolant back to the engine instead of putting it to the heater core. What that's supposed to do is prevent heat from going to the evaporator core, and that overall affects the cooling inside the cabin. So I'm hearing reports around 10, 5, 10, 15 degrees cooling differences in the cabin from the AC by just putting this valve in. Um, the part number is 7489. And this is Four Seasons. There's different brands. They're all around like 18 bucks, something like that. But we're gonna see if this actually does provide the cooling capability that I'm reading about, definitively. It's a little hot out. You guys can hear the cicadas chirping. It's mid-August, so it's shitty out. <laughs> so I'm not gonna walk you through how to do everything, but all you gotta do is install this right where your heater lines are going to the cab, and then put your vacuum line in an OBS4 truck, run the vacuum line, which is off the nipple of this, straight to the white line, T into the white line going off the vent door. That's all you need to do. So let's go back to testing. So I'll pop the hood real quick just to show you guys. The unit is tapped into the coolant lines right here. Vacuum line tees into this line, the white line. That's all you gotta do is tee into the white line. So anytime you hit on max AC, this will pull vacuum, shut the valve, and just reroute coolant, preventing this from heating up, hopefully cooling everything. So this is my test stand. Um, I'm gonna let everything idle for 15 minutes with this disconnected and with it connected. That way this will, with this vacuum line plugged off and not connected to this, it'll simulate the before I modded it, okay? So we'll see if there's actual cooling difference. During the whole 15 minutes, this van will be blowing to simulate it driving down the road for both tests. So what I'm gonna do, is, since this unit is already installed, I'm gonna run this test first with everything connected. That way there will be no coolant into the heater core at all. That, won't throw, that way I won't throw off the results when I run it with everything disconnected. So first test with the Max AC mod, running 15 minutes with a fan blowing into the core to the radiator. We're gonna see what kind of cooling we have. 79 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I got everything Max AC, Max coolant, Max blower. Okay, so after 15 minutes idling, we're getting a temperature, come on, focus, of 50 degrees, looks like just about, because every increment is three and a half, so it looks about 50 degrees. So, that ain't bad. So what I'm gonna do to reset, the temperature. So I'm gonna open all the doors. Let it air out for a little bit. So we're gonna get back to normal temperature. And for the second test, I'm gonna disconnect this modification I did so it'll be running as stock for test two. And we'll see what the cooling differences is. So you see all I did here was just add a little block off tube just to make sure vacuum's still in the system to where the blend door will work. But this is now completely deleted. So we'll see how that is. It's already getting hot. <laughs> so we'll give it a little bit longer to air out and then we'll start test two. Okay. Everything's aired out. We're gonna start the truck again. So it's been 15 minutes, and, ah uh, yeah, gunt. Focus. There we go, so it's sitting around 
70? Oh, around like 58, 59? Okay. So, there you have it, guys. Well, like what, five degrees difference with the Max AC mod installed? So, I would say put it in. Cost 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. 20 minutes of your time, and you get five degrees more cooling. It's not a very hard decision to make. All right, I'm getting out of here. I gotta go make a quick errand. You guys, uh, stay tuned. I got more stuff coming. Love you.